Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here. And welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Today we're going to be taking a look at all of the Ashes of War available in the Elden Ring network test. If you guys have played Dark Souls 3, Ashes of War are essentially the weapon arts from Dark Souls 3. But yeah, let's just get into it. Alright, so let's go to the Ashes of War here. You click a weapon and then you infuse it with whatever uh, you would like. So the first one is Piercing Fang. When you choose it, you can choose to not change the scaling on your weapon or go with the scaling. Um, here it's essentially the same. I lose 4 base damage, but I gain 8 on the scaling. So it's actually better keen for the straight sword and because of my stats. Not that it matters right now because I'm just showing you what it does, but this is Piercing Fang. Just like a forward thrust. Thrust damage. Pretty cool animation. I like it. I like it. On to the next one. We have the repeating thrust. Very similar. Except it does multiple thrusts. Comes out pretty quick. Yeah, that was repeating thrust. Now on to determination, which you guys have seen because I did use it. Wait, did it? Did it not? Oh, it did. But it charges your sword, and the next hit you do is just more of a powerful hit. Um, yeah, not much to that one, really. Not much to that one. Now we can move. Oh, there's, I have two of that. Yeah, interesting. Um, so we have the storm blade. I find this one pretty useful. I did use this throughout the playthrough uh, Cast a wind strike that can be used at a distance pretty good range Not like super fire, but like a mid mid range attack Yeah, so you have to be kind of Mid but does good damage comes out fairly quickly Now we have the Storm Stomp. This one's like an AoE. Has a pretty cool animation as well. I'm not sure how the damage is on it, as I didn't really use it in the playthrough, but let's see. Okay. Not the highest. But has some good AoE stun. Now Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is one of my favorite of the... Ashes of War that I've tried out. It's so good at finishing off even like PV your opponents at range. It's got great accuracy even while running. Ha, ah, bad example. You have to be kind of like, it has good range though. Like, I don't know it's max, but I don't know if I'll hit just because I'm locked on. Okay, so I, I about see the range. It's not super far. Almost. Well, a little bit closer and I would have hit that. Yeah. So it has good range. The lock on in this game is longer than the range of some attacks. All right, moving on to Glint Sword Arc. Now here is basically Homing Soul Mass. <laughs> so I wanted to get more FP to show it off, but when you cast it, it comes out like this. And uh, these are the the swords that appear when you deflect magic with that shield. So it comes out like this. This is the lock on range. How it fires. Actually, it's a. Uh... Does it not fire on? Wildlife. Well. I just learned that. But yeah, if there was an enemy nearby, it just fires in like the old homing soul mass. Weird that it's not firing on the goats. Hmm. Oops. Alright, this is the Carrion Greatsword. So now I'm just going to have these here throughout the rest of the magic showcase, I guess. Alright. This is the Carrion Greatsword Uncharged. It's just like a magic sword hit, quickly. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. It, the, the, it gets higher damage the longer you hold it, obviously, but it's it's pretty slow. So you gotta be choosy with how you use that. And then Gravitas. So it's kind of like a gravity pull weapon art. This one's pretty interesting. That's it, just uncharging. I'm gonna see if holding it even does anything. Doesn't seem like it, but we'll go try it out on the goats. You know, it's, it's pretty good. Better than my uh, useless homing soul mask. Oh, I have to go right in the face of the goat for it to fire. It fires further away in PvP. That's why I was confused. Okay. 
Like when you're in PvP, it fires from like normal homing soul mass distance. All right, so that's it for all the attack type Ashes of War. Uh, swords and shields have different ones. So that was all the ones that you guys have seen for the attack type. Now we're gonna show off Barricade Shield and Holy Ground. So Barricade Shield basically just hardens your shield. Makes you take less damage the same way that uh, Determination makes your sword hit do more damage. And this is the animation for it. Hardens your shield. <laughs> um, and now for Holy Ground. I'll just do this. Which basically just regens you and gives you slight defense boosts. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys the actual spell. So this is what Barricade Shield indicates. Barricade Shield, a skill made famous by Sir and Needheart. Focus your energy into your shield, temporarily hardening it to deflect great blows. It can be used on all types of shields. That is Barricade Shield. Moving on to the final shield, Ash of War. Continuously restoring HP and boosting defense for you and your allies in the area of effect. So I actually did use this in my playthrough. I tried it out. It's pretty cool. It's got it's got decent regen. Here, let me just equip it really quick. And maybe I can go take some damage and show off yeah, its actual regen. Alright, since I was beating you up in the magic showcase, it makes sense that you can beat me up so I can show off the regen here. Hit me again. Okay, that should be good enough. So that was the damage I took. I kind of want to compare it like that. All right, now I'll cast the, the regen spell. Ah, oh, you gotta let me cast it, homie. Use the torch on me. There we go, so this will regen me as long as I stay in it. Um, Grants me defenses, which I want to test, but I want to be able to take a hit, so. That's the difference. See that swing that he hit me with earlier that did kind of, it did a decent amount more damage to be honest. Use like this one. This will be a perfect example. Huh? Honestly, it looks, looks kind of samey now that I look at it. <laughs> One-handed attacks, tinging off shields, but not the heavy. But the regen's okay. That's mostly what I wanted to show off. So yeah, that is Holy Ground. All right, well, those are all the Ashes of War that were available to us in the Elden Ring Network test. If you guys did have a favorite, comment it below. I'm interested to see what you guys thought about them. And I will see you guys all on the next Elden Ring video.